I'm going to show you how to build a sim racing rig uh, out of one sheet of plywood and two two by fours. Uh, at least that's my attempt. I'm going to wrap all this up at the end and show you how to cut your two by fours. I'm a tightwad, as some of you may know. So I'm using some scraps uh, to build this with, but I will come back at the end and show you what you can do if you don't have this stuff laying around. Uh, where you can get by as cheap as possible lumber is the cost of you know gold anymore so you need to do it as cheap as possible and be accurate with your cuts and be as efficient as possible but i'm trying to recreate my miata cockpit because i'm going to use a miata seat uh, as close as possible so there, i'm going to do some fine details probably to fine tune it that you or may may uh, may or may not do I don't even know if I'm going to touch on that, but I am for sure going to go through the basics of how to build this. We're going to start with a base. It's going to be 45 inches by 20 inches, so I'm going to cut a couple 2x4s 45 inches long, and then I'm going to cut two of them 18 and a half inches long and uh, build it and then lay this plywood down over the top, and that's going to be our base, and that's what we'll start with, and I'll, I'll show you that when that's all together here. So here's the cuts of the 2x4s for our base, uh, like I said, 45 inches long, and then those middle ones are 18 and a half inches wide, so overall dimensions are going to be 45 by 20. So I'm going to drill these together, and then I'm going to cut that sheet of plywood that's underneath it now, and lay it on top, and uh, get everything screwed together. Okay, you guys that know what you're doing a little better probably already discovered I was going for 45 by 20 inches across I took out an inch and a half for this stud I needed to take out three inches for this stud so you don't cut these uh, 18 and a half you cut these to 17 I'm gonna fix that now because uh, that's gonna ruin my plans I want it 45 by 20 so these will be 45 these need to be cut to 17 all right there we go 45 by 20 Measure twice, cut twice. Think three times. All right, I got the base deck cut to shape. And I'm also going to end up putting another stud in here for the front uh, mounting points of the seat that I'm going to install. You may or may not need that. This will be pretty stable. That's a pretty short span, uh, only slightly more than... Uh, studs of a wall so that'll be a real really stable base now this is where you're going to square up your base you know cut this piece perfectly square and then as you work as you uh, screw in you're going to square up everything on your base and that will ensure this whole thing's nice and square for you all right i got my seat mounted i ended up having to put a brace under here to get the angle right on my seat to match my Miata you'll have a different seat probably and you'll want to run a board underneath this uh, to screw it down into so you'll cut another 17 inch long 2x4 under here and uh, then you can attach your seat down to that on this back 2x4 and then on whatever wherever you install this one of course depending on the seat that you have uh, this will be in a different position so there's not a, an exact measurement for this it's based off whatever seat you install and now we're gonna build these sides up and I don't have a measurement yet on the sides because the issue is gonna be <coughs> because I'm copying the Miata cockpit and it will be the same for you actually we're gonna build these sides up and we're gonna leave them too big and then this 20 inch piece that we're gonna install in here where your steering wheel is gonna mount to um, we'll play around with the position of that with the actual steering wheel you're going to use in your kit, whether it's Thrustmaster or Logitech or whatever. Uh, and then you'll position that next where you need it to be. And then you'll, as you screw everything down, and then you'll cut your profile for your sides. You'll do that last so you can get everything in the position that you want. So now I'm going to cut some sides, and like I said, these sides are going to be overly big uh, when we first install them. All right, now I've got the sides on, and I'm mocking up the angle of the steering wheel and the steering wheel position. 
um, we need to get a, a beefier piece in here. You can see how flimsy that is all the way across. We'll have to run a two by four. This will probably have to be bigger. And then I'll have to run a two by four in behind it uh, to stiffen things up. And we might find that we got to add some more when we're done, but we won't know till we're kind of done. And that can establish how uh, sturdy things need to be. But now we can see our profile on the sides where we need to cut out. You know, we'll have to, let me back up a little here. We'll have to cut out the section here. And then we can taper that one down too if we want. I'll decide that here in a minute, how we're going to do all that. Okay, I got my sides in. I got my uh, steering wheel mount with a 2x4 underneath. Unfortunately, you can see that this is kind of bent. We'll straighten that up with this last piece here. And I profiled most of the sides. I'm probably going to put an arch across here as well. Um, but you can see that it's it needs to be boxed in on this end to be stable enough. But one of the pieces that I cut out the profile with will fit in there. And so we'll box that in and that should stabilize everything. I profiled this side a little deeper uh, because I, I'm leaving a spot where if I ever want to put a shifter mount, uh, that's approximately the same height as my Miata shifter uh, that can go right in here and uh, So that's why I left this one a little higher But I could have cut that bigger piece out of both sides So we'll get that one mounted in All right, this is the steering wheel side. Of course, there's the seat I ended up having to put one more in it still wasn't quite stable enough now. It's nice and stout It's boxed in really well uh, for stability. I'm, I'm ripping on it pretty hard. It was still bending a little before. Um, when I do these dimensions, I'm going to try to see if we can get this stuff up here squared off. This continued out to the end, and then this one all the way up without these silly curves. These curves came out of the profiled side, and uh, when we do our math, I'm going to see if I can't uh, square some of these off It'd be a little better. This can be done with one 4x8 sheet of plywood or OSB if you wanted to use that. I, I would suggest against OSB. By the time you get everything together, it may be stable enough that it, it's okay. But ideally, you should use plywood. I know it's more expensive. I, I get it, though. Um, I'm a tightwad. I would probably try it with OSB first, but you may fail and it may be a piece of, it may be terrible when you get done. Anyway, uh, th I use this OptiCutter app online and you just put in the dimensions. That's a four by eight sheet right there. Uh, and this is one sheet and this is all the pieces labeled even. Pretty slick setup. I've never used this before. Uh, labels everything even here for us. So here's your two sides. Those are your biggest pieces, as you can see. That's this side piece here. Um, there's the deck that we started with. That would be the piece that you can't see, the, basically the floor of this. The steering wheel mount. Now, I calculated this as if I'm boxing in everything. If this piece, if this steering wheel mount went all the way to the back, and this thing went all the way to the top. None of these curves, none of that, if this were completely square. So you don't have to uh, get a, a jigsaw out and cut these curves in. I only did it because I didn't really have quite a full sheet of plywood, so I had to cheat a little. I'll tell you, I did that in a minute. But I realized that there's no way that you're going to have the exact size pieces I had laying around. And this would be the piece that boxes in the end here. Um, you have to figure in the width of your plywood, so that's why it's 21 and 3 quarters uh, wide, because I had to figure in the width of this plywood along with uh, the width of the deck that was 20 inches. So by the end, 21 and 3 quarters is more like the measurement. 
really when you build your deck you should probably remeasure how wide that end piece should be you know between these two it's going to be exactly the width of your deck but then i would just remeasure from the from this the outside of from the outside of this the outside of that anyway the math on this like i said is figured for this thing completely boxed in and really even these side pieces being completely squared off you're going to want to cut some sort of profile in these and the truth is uh and that's why mine looks the way it does this is the 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 higher side this is lower on the side that you can't see as well but you can cut up to like an 18 by 21 piece out of this section if this were squared off you lose some in that net rounding but that's really what i've done here and that's what these two pieces are this bottom one is the section i took out on that side and this top one is a section i took out here so the truth is i didn't even use use a full sheet of plywood also your two by four oh, let's get that off of there also your two by fours you do only need two of those so you're going to cut uh, full length two by four uh, eight foot long is 96 inches so you can cut your 245s out 145 here and 145 on the other side remember that's at our base those two by fours and you'll have about six inches left off that stud that's figuring it that's not figuring in blade width on this oddly enough this calculator this is figuring in I just put in an eighth inch of blade width so it's calculated that as well so you don't have to worry about losing that blade width uh your blade's probably actually not that wide anyway so back to our two by four studs uh you'll use one stud up basically with a little left over for your sides and then as you run an end piece and an end piece uh underneath it and then your third one for the front uh mount for your seat you'll use up 51 inches of the 96 and then I also needed a 20 inches under here I thought to stabilize this so this didn't like a bow on me uh, I put 20 inches under there and you would still have 25 inches left of stud on your second stud even after running one two three across here and this one you still have about 25 this is not figuring for a missing blade width so like 24 inches and some change left when you're done so you could run another one across somewhere else if you had to so one sheet of plywood or uh, anything four by eight plus two studs does get you this of course you're going to want to finish it off probably and paint it whatever you want to do um, i don't know if i'll ever do anything with it this and this also mimics the cockpit of a miata really well one thing that i don't have that i might have to cut in i might have to arch this in a little bit because as i bend my knee up to press the pedal in on this side um there's a lot of rubbing on my knee right in here may not be necessary i don't know on a in the car itself there's plastic on this side and then of course the vinyl on the door uh, on this side so it slides really well I may just line this with a vinyl sheet or a piece of plastic or something I don't know don't care that's something for the future hope this was helpful um, I know I didn't go into fine details on this because I'm kind of expecting the people watching it have some knowledge about how to do this stuff already and sorry I drug this out so long I tried to make this as concise as possible yet still hitting all the points but please like and subscribe I appreciate it very much.